Welcome back to part two of our video tutorial where we are creating ourselves a 3D dice in Autodesk Inventor. In our first video, you can see that we got the first three sides of our dice done. In this video, we're going to do sides four, five, and six. Alrighty. So the number four is the next one that we're going to do. Okay, and we need to swing our dice around. So I'm going to hold down shift and just use the wheel on the mouse to get around to this side here. So we've got the number one there, number two here. This face here, so it's on top at the moment, is going to be where we do the number four. Alrighty, pretty easy one to do. We're going to use construction lines to get this set up. So grab your line tool at the top, come across on the ribbon and turn construction lines back on. Okay, and basically I want you to draw some lines like I am here. It doesn't matter where they go exactly yet. Okay, but we're just going to be drawing in some lines like so. They just need to be straight lines. As long as they're straight lines, I'm happy. Now, once you draw one line and let go of your mouse, you'll see that it wants to draw another line. You just need to press Escape to turn that off. But you will need to reselect your line tool just to draw the next line. Okay, so it's going to look something like that when you're done. I want those construction lines in on your document. So that's how we're looking. Turn construction lines off now. And what we're going to do is use the dimension tool to get these lines all 0.25 mil in from the edges. Basically, these center points are where the circles are going to come out of. So grab your dimension tool up the top, click on the top of the rectangle, click on this next line down, come out to the side, and write in 0.25. Easy. Let's do the bottom one. So click on the bottom line, or the bottom face of this square, Click on the next construction line up, come out to the side, and write 0.25 again and press enter. Next thing I'm going to do is, I'm just going to have to zoom out a little bit here. I'm going to click on this right side of the shape, click on the construction line just nearby, go up and make it 0.25. And finally, this left side, just click once on the left side, click on the construction line, and make it 0.25 as well. Okay, so all those lines now are 0.25 in from the edges of the square. We can now draw our circles on these center points where the lines intersect. So go up and grab your circle, hover over the center of those lines, and simply click and drag out a 0.4 mil circle. Do that for each corner. Pretty easy to do. And there's our number four, all done. So finish your sketch by pressing the green tick in the top right there, and it simply extrude those four circles. So up in your ribbon, click Extrude. You'll have to select each of the four circles by clicking on them once, and then just changing the direction that we cut it to direction two. Make sure it's 0.05 mil as well, and click OK. And there's the next side of our dice all done. OK. After number four, we've got the number five. The way it goes, we're going to flip our dice around over to here. So you'll see the number four here. Okay, and we've got the number one here. That leaves us this empty face for the number five. And it's set up a very similar way to the number four. So start a new sketch. Click on that empty face. And I want you to set up the construction lines like we just did before. Okay, so remember we're just drawing straight across. Like so. Straight across again. The top to bottom ones now. There we go. Now just dimension those lines for me again. A little bit annoying, I know. 0.25. I'm sure there was a quicker way that you could do this, but I'm fairly new to Inventor, so I couldn't tell you what that is. Just get them all 0.25 from the edges of the page. And then click on the bottom, click on that construction line, 0.25. Alrighty, so now we can just do the number four again. Okay, so grab your circle tool at the top, hover around the center, click and drag out. Four circles for me, all of them, same size as usual, 0.4 millimeters. And I've just realized I've left construction lines turned on, so what I'm going to have to do now 
Let's press escape, go back and select each of these circles and turn the construction lines off for each of those circles. So you just need to click on them once and press the construction button up the top. And that way, instead of being a dashed circle like this one here, what we're looking for is the solid blue circle. Okay, and that will give us our four numbers. What we need to do is the center circle now. So again, we're going to need to turn construction lines back on with the line tool. Just find the center point. Let's run that down the middle. Same from this side. Alrighty. Press escape. Turn your construction lines off. Don't forget that, like I just did. Grab your circle, and over that center point, same as before, 0 0.4 mil circle needs to come out. Okay, and there's our number 5, all done. Press the green tick at the top. Choose the extrude option, and select each of the circles. Remember to change the direction to direction to 0 0.05 mil for the distance. Click OK. You've got your final side, oh sorry, your fifth side done. Now we can do the final side, which is the number six. So you've only got one empty face left, so that must be the number six one. Let's have a look at what way we want these to run. I'm just holding a dice in front of me. I know you can't see that at the moment, but basically we want the numbers to run down that way and up and down that way. Alrighty, so that looks pretty good to me. Let's start a 2D sketch and click on this empty face. Alright, so they're basically going to be they're going to be horizontal lines, these circles. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our line tool and we will start by drawing a line straight across. Simple as that. Now that line should have been a construction line actually, so I might just undo that. Grab my line tool and just remember to turn the construction on. It's my my mistake. So there's one line, there's our next line, alrighty, so what I'm going to do is dimension those two lines, make sure that they are, as always, 0 0.25 in, and 0 0.25 in on the top and bottom of the page, like so, okay, we're basically going to have our circles run down these lines. Alright, next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw in some more construction lines. Let's find the center point next. That way our middle circle can run out of there. That's pretty easy. And we're going to do two more lines down the sides here as well. Doesn't matter where just yet because we will dimension them. One. And there's two. Alright, so grab your dimension tool. Just click on the left side of the page. Click on this left tool here and come up the top, 0.25 in, and this right side and this construction line need to be 0.25 in as well. Now we've got all the places where we can put our three circles. Okay, so grab your circle tool, let's click on this one and make it 0.4, oops, I've got construction lines turned on, better turn them off quickly. Let's keep drawing these circles. So just click on the center points, click and drag out, and make them all 0.4 mil. It's going to be looking something like this when you're done. Clicking on the center point, dragging out 0.4, and final one now, 0.4. And there's our number six. Finish the sketch up top, extrude those. For me, so click on each of the circles and just cut it back in on itself 0.05 mil. Click OK, and you've now got each side of the dice done. The sixes look good, everything's looking pretty sweet. Alrighty, um, that will probably do us for this video. In the next one, what I'm going to show you how to do is fill out some of the edges on the dice, and we'll have, also have a look at colouring it in, finishing it right off. So I'll see you in the final video next.